Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Uh, today we're going to start some mixed tips. First one we're going to do today is phase aligning your tracks. So let's take a look. This is a song by Moguls of Mayhem. I co-produced, co-wrote, played on called Long Gone. It's going to be released sometime in September. So let's peek at how I usually phase align. So the easiest way to do it I have found over the years is to use Auto Align by Sound Radix. So the way this works is you select your overhead drum track, insert it in your first insert slot, and you send. You can send on any, uh, up to eight tracks you can send out to. I put this on send one. So this will send signal out. When I hit play, you'll see it. So over here on the left is the source. So now what we're going to do in order to make this line up right, let's take our room track and we're picking this one to receive on send one. So I'm going to hit the detect and let it find its way. That's going to calculate the delay and the phase and the polarity. So usually what happens is in the old days, we would just have a console, we'd hit the reverse phase button. And if something was 180 degrees out of phase, it flipped the phase and then it sounded correct. So with this, if there's any increments in between, any time differences, it will accommodate that plus or minus. So when the graphic looks like this, that means it's done its job and it's calculated and you see up here, it's minus 56 samples. Take a listen to those two and see what the sound difference is like. So this is the phase line in, and then I'll shut it off. So it's subtle, but you'll hear that the, the lower part of the snare drum sounds fatter, and the kick seems to sound bigger to me. So you can see on this track, I have quite a bit of, of uh, stuff. So here's, here's my inside kick mic. So what I did was, is I'm receiving on channel one, which is the overheads, and I'm sending out on channel two. And then channel two is the one I sent to all my other kick. So I have a kick out mic and I have kick samples. Then I have an 808. Then down here I have a snare drum and that's receiving on one from the overhead. And then it's sending on three and that sends to the snare bottom mics, the second snare and all my snare samples. I'm going to do a quick drum blend and then I'm going to uh, turn this on and off and you can hear what it's doing, the difference. So here we go. Quick drum blend. So let's turn this on and off while we're listening to a spot. So I'm going to loop a chorus and we'll check that out. So first I'll turn them off and then I'll pop them in. Here we go.
in. Cool, so you get a little bit of clarity. So now let's check out what this is doing. We have a lot of loops and different things happening in the tune. So, so, so I'm going to blend those guys in, and then we'll, we'll check the phase alignment on, on those two. Here we go with the loops. All right, so we have a, quite a few things. We have two loops, and then a third loop comes in in the pre-chorus. Then we have a uh, sample of a gun cocking and then a gun shooting on the downbeat, and we have a reverse snare that swoops into a couple of sets of hand claps. So let's grab a part of the song, and we're going to pop it in and out. So let's highlight all our stuff, and we'll start with it out first. So this will be Sound Radix Auto Align off and then on. Here we go, off. on. So you can see there's a, there's a bunch of things that are changing and happening with that. Now you might think it's subtle, but it really helps and it's very, very fast and it allows me to do a lot less EQing later. So let's check out the bass guitar. So we have a bass guitar DI, we have a bass guitar with the Sans amp, we have a bass guitar running through an SVT, and one that I ran through a uh, diesel VH4 and reamped it. In this case, the bass is receiving on two. So two was the send from the kick drum. So I'm trying to tighten up the bass and the kick drum. Then it is going to, these guys are all going to receive on two as well. Let's hear the basses. Uh, we'll get a blend on those and bring those in. Okay, cool, so we're gonna to go to a chorus because that's when the distorted bass comes in. With those guys in and out, so out first. You can hear it changes the mid-range of the bass, but it feels like it, it gives you a lower octave of extension in the low end. Everything we've used the auto line so far on and what it did. Auto align in.
you can kind of really hear it in the in the bass guitar. So that's the Sound Radix Auto Align, Auto Aligning our drums, the whole drum kit to itself, loops to it, and our bass DIs and bass amps. Hope you enjoyed this video. Part two coming soon. We're going to do some subtractive EQing on the home mix. Thanks. This is now complete.